Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the capacitive fingerprint sensor which I recently purchased from Amazon. In earlier videos, I discussed optical fingerprint sensor like R305 and R307. I recently made a tutorial using GT511C3 optical fingerprint sensor. But capacitive fingerprint sensor are much better and more advanced. Actually, there are three different types of fingerprint sensor available in the market. They are optical, capacitive and ultrasonic. All of them works using different algorithm and image processing system. Anyway, our main focus today will only be on R502 or R503 capacitive fingerprint sensor. We will learn how capacitive fingerprint sensing technology works in detail. Then we will learn about the construction, design and pinout of the R502 fingerprint sensor. We will then interface this fingerprint sensor with Arduino. Then taking the Adafruit fingerprint sensor library, we'll enroll the fingerprint and then later read the stored fingerprint stored in the databases. So this tutorial is going to be very very interesting. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one? That looks so good, then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your hardware file, and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. Now let's see how the capacitive fingerprint sensor works. The capacitive fingerprint sensor works using a different algorithm compared to that of optical fingerprint sensors. Instead of creating a traditional image of fingerprint, capacitive fingerprint scanners uses area of tiny capacitor circuits to collect data. As capacitor stored electrical charge Connecting them up to the conductive plates on the surface of the scanner allows them to be used to track the detail of fingerprint. The stored charge will be changed slightly when a finger wrist is placed over the conductive plates. Conversely, an ear gap will leave the charge at the capacitive plate relatively unchanged. An op -amp integrator circuit is used to track these changes, which can then be recorded by an analog to digital converter. Once captured, this digital data is analyzed to look for a distinctive and unique fingerprint attributes. They can be saved for comparison at a later date. This is the capacitive fingerprint sensor that we will be using in this project. The R502 is the most popular and the low cost capacitive fingerprint sensor available in the market. The chip is designed by integrating image collecting and algorithm chips together. The best part about R502 is that it adapts to the condition of the fingers, whether it is dry finger, wet, light texture, or old fingers with a high recognition rate. The difference between R502 with R503 is that R502 is thinner and smaller compared to R503. The fingerprint sensor works at 3.3 volt and has a current consumption of 18 milliampere during fingerprint acquisition and average standby current of 2 microampere. It uses the RS-232 UART interface and communicates with a default baud date of 57600 BPS. It can store a maximum of 200 fingerprints. The R502 fingerprint module has a support for Arduino, Android, Windows and Linux. For more information, you can refer to R502 or R503 datasheet. There are total of 6 wires basically pin out of R502 or R503. These are as follows. The VCC and ground pin is the main power supply. The 6 pin which is white in color is touch induction power supply which requires 3 to 6 volt DC supply. Then it has TX and RX as UART pin. The wake up pin is not used in most cases. Now let us see. How we can interface R502 capacitive fingerprint sensor with Arduino? The connection diagram is fairly simple. Connect the VCC and GND of R502 to Arduino 3.3B and GND pin. 
Similarly, connect the Tx and Rx to D2 and D3 of the Arduino respectively. The blue wire is an interrupt wire which remains unconnected. Connect the watt wire to 3.3V. I use jumper wires to connect directly with the Arduino Nano board. Now, let's move to the coding part. This is an Arduino library available for R502 or R503 capacity fingerprint sensor from Adafruit. You can download the Adafruit fingerprint sensor library from this GitHub repository. Or you can go to the library manager and directly install the library. There are two separate scores for indoling and reading fingerprint data. The indoor code will save the fingerprint data in EEP ROM memory. While the fingerprint read code will read the fingerprint stored in the EEP ROM memory and match them with the scanned one. Let's indoor the fingerprint data. To do this, go to the examples and open the indoor code. Then connect your Arduino board to the computer. Then select Arduino Nano board and also the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. Then open the serial monitor and follow the screen instruction. You need to assign the fingerprint ID which lies between 1 to 127. Now enter the ID here and click on send. Now put your finger then remove it. Then put again. So the fingerprint is successfully stored here. You can do the same with the other fingers. You can store multiple fingers up to 200 fingers. So the fingers data has been stored in the EP ROM of the fingerprint sensor. Now let's see the fingerprint scan code. This code can also be taken from an example. Open this example code and upload it to the Arduino Nano board. Now open the serial monitor. You can now scan your finger and the serial monitor will display the match data. If the registered fingerprint is found, it will display on the monitor. If the unregistered fingerprint is found, it will display unmatched data. So this is how you can enroll and read fingerprints using the capacity fingerprint sensor. The complete details of the project has been uploaded in the website of How to Electronics. You can get the purchase link, data sheets, source code, program, and all the details on this site. In case you have still any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.